Hey everyone and welcome to my closet. I'm so excited to be filming this video because if you've been watching my vlogmas, I think it was part four, you've seen that we randomly on a Sunday decided to build this closet. We've been living in this house for a very year and a half and yet the closet was the last room that we worked on, which is so weird because I love my clothes, I work in fashion, so it would only make sense that this would be the first room to complete, but it wasn't the case. Actually, my first closet tour that I filmed, I think it was four or five years ago now, uh, back in our old flat, is still to this day one of my most watched videos on this channel, so I thought it was about time to show you my brand new closet tour. So I'm actually filming on my vlogging camera just because I thought it would be a little bit more casual and I can just grab you and show you the room and move you around. This has an autofocus, so that's gonna be very easy. So I'm gonna get started and show you everything in the room. So this is what you see when you're coming through the door. So basically, this door leads to the corridor and then that door over there leads to our bedroom. So this room is the main access. It's the only access really to our bedroom. So over on the side, I have a dresser. I have my wall of shoes and bags. We have three beautiful large windows. And then we have this main part of the closet with all the furniture. So let's start with this wall. Everything that you see is from the PAX system from IKEA. It's not perfect by any means, but it's pretty affordable. It's less expensive than going custom but there's some gaps here and there but it's pretty easy to customize as well so that was my pick for this room I wanted everything to be white because we have some beautiful natural light and I wanted everything to be bright and very airy and light so each of these units is one meter wide and over two meters tall, but you will have all the information and the links in the description box down below. I decided to put shelves on the top just because this is very high and hard to reach. Then I have um, rods going all over so that I can hang my clothes. I hang nearly every single piece of clothes that I have. I only fold my jeans in one of those drawers. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Just because I like to be able to see everything just in one go. And because I switched to wood hangers, I also have to um, go through my closet pretty regularly so that I don't run out of space. So let's start with the first unit over here. On the top shelf, I just keep larger bags. So I have all my Balenciaga bags, my Alexander Wang Prisma tote, and my DKNY tote. If you want to see a um, handbag collection, I actually filmed one, so I'm gonna link it up on the screen as well as in the description box. And then I have two hanging things. The first one is basically all of my jackets and blazers. If you know me, you know that I love a good blazer. I have my Chanel jacket over here. I have my favorite H&M black blazer, which I just wear with everything. And then on the bottom, I have some more extra jackets and I actually keep my skirts over here. As you can see, I don't have many, many skirts, but um, they live right there. And I have an extra like, extra long pants that live over there. So this is pretty bare. As you can see, I have a ton of room to grow, which is nice. And then we have this part right here. So on the top left, I keep all my hats that's over there. And then over here, I keep some pair of shoes that I don't wear regularly. And then I just have a box filled with random stuff. And then over here are all my tops. So that's gonna be t-shirts, blouses, as well as sweaters. As I told you, I like to hang everything and I like to organize by color from light to dark. I just think it is easier to grab everything that you want. If I know that I want um, a white blouse, I know that it's over here. If I want a black sweater, that's over there. And within each color, it's categorized from um, sleevesless to short sleeves to long sleeves to sweaters. So that's very easy to find exactly what I am looking for. And then over here, I have exactly the same setup. So I have a narrow drawer on each side and then three large ones. I decided to get glass shelves just because what I keep in the first drawer is so beautiful that I wanted to be able to see it at any time. So in the first one, as you can see, I keep all of my scarves, so I have some beautiful silk scarves, and then I have my belts. I don't wear belts regularly, but I've grown quite a collection. To be honest with you, some of these 
stuff are really old. So for example, my Hermes belt I got when I was 16 years old. Um, this Alexander McQueen scarf I got way back in 2008. So as you can see, I tend to keep beautiful pieces. In the next drawer, I actually keep all of my jeans. And I like to roll up my jeans just because it's so easy to grab the pair that you want. You can see everything at a glance. As you can see, I still have room to grow. I could totally squeeze these um, together, but really I want to keep everything under control and not like hold on to things just for the sake of it. So I have all of my jeans. Not only all of my jeans are from American Eagle, to be honest with you, they're just the best jeans that are super comfortable. So I think all of that is American Eagle. We have some more over there, but I feel like rolling your jeans is just a way to go. I know some people fold them, but I don't like to do that because I feel like it creases um, the material a little bit. And the main thing is that when you roll your jeans, you can just pick one and nothing falls on top of the other. So I really like that. So that's what I have in this drawer. And then in the second one, I actually keep all of my workout stuff. No, nearly all of it. I have all of my um, tops, really simple tank tops rolled over here. I have my long leggings over there. I have my short leggings over there. Um, these are all long sleeves, short shorts, bras, and then these are all my tops with built-in bras, and I think those are shorts. So I keep everything nicely organized over there. And then in the bottom drawer, I just keep some extra workout stuff. So this is what I would wear if I'm working out outside. I have my special equipment, like to go to the gym, um, to go to the ballet class, sorry. Uh, over there, I have some special Nike shoes, and then I keep all of my um, bikinis and swimsuit over here. I keep the bottom in one of those little organizer from Ikea as well, and then I keep all the tabs in the other one. That's just very convenient to grab and go. Over here, I have what's probably my favorite part of the closet, which is this little drawer. Now, I'm a sucker for two things, especially, no, I love bags, but within accessories, I love sunglasses and I love small leather goods. So you can see it's pretty much an obsession. So I keep all of my sunglasses out here. I keep all my ribbons in the cases because most of these are actually prescriptions. So these live in their cases, but I just organized all of my sunglasses. And then over here, I have all of my small leather goods. So like wallets and beautiful leather pouch. I have my Chanel wallet, which is um, new from last year that I absolutely love. My Louis Vuitton wallet that I got when I was something crazy like 18 so it lives over here Kate Spade I have my Prada one another Prada I really like Prada and I actually went to the factory in Firenze where you get some pretty amazing deals and then back there I have um, a little Balenciaga pouch and a couch pouch and I just love this drawer it's so beautiful with a glass shelf on top I think it's just the best one I'm not going to show you the first drawer just because that's underwear, but I can show you this one. This is all my pajamas. So I have um, like leggings, I have all of my shorts and all of my t-shirts. And I actually use the KonMari folding method to do that. I read the book, um, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up, and she recommends to um, fold your t-shirts and shorts that way. It saves a lot of space and you can see everything really easily. And then in the last drawer, I just keep some more loungewear stuff. Like I have um, nightgowns, I have all of my sweaters and my really big chunky sweatshirts. I have some seasonal thing and some more sweatpants over there. And then in this last part on the top shelf, I just keep some extra bags. So I have all of my clutches and I actually use book dividers also from Ikea to um, help them stand and to separate them by color. This is something that I used to do in my previous closet as well. And I just absolutely love that. So that's one of my tips to store all of your smaller bags. And then I just keep some random bags and a pair of shoes. And then over here I have all of my dresses. As you can see, I love wearing dresses. I love colorful dresses as well as black. So again, everything is organized by color. And I just have this very handy little thing, which means that I can grab a dress 
and I can pop that over here just so that I know for example if I'm going to a wedding I know that I'm gonna be wearing this dress I can just pick it up or if I'm packing or something like that I can put um, a little selection of clothes over there and then on the bottom I really want to find something better because I think that this looks a bit messy for the moment I keep all of my sneakers um, those are workout sneakers those I wear in um, everyday life and then I have my pair of um, tight high boots that I recently got in London so that's everything for this wall I also have a small mirror over there and behind that I tucked my steamer so that it's out of sight but really easy to reach and I actually hang all my clothes on there while I still I steam them so that's very convenient so the area that I just showed you is to my right if we look down we have this little um, fake sheepskin um, rug from Ikea and then I have this beautiful bench that I got from West Wing. I absolutely love it. This is so convenient if I'm packing or if I want to sit down and put on my shoes. This is just the best. And then we have the window sills that I keep quite a bit of stuff in. I'm very lucky because the window, oh my god, that window is absolutely dirty. Sorry about that. But I'm very lucky because I have, as you can see, a full like screen of um, trees outside my windows which means that I do have blinds but I don't really have to close them anytime because I have full privacy in this room which is so so nice so over here I just keep some of my jewelry so I have all my earrings in this very convenient Muji storage solution this is just the best because you can organize all of your earrings but they keep um, they are completely dust free as well then I have this beautiful mirrored jewelry box that I got ages ago from Zaha Home. If you open it up, I just have a couple of rings, bracelets, I have um, my like wristband if I want to change them. And then in the drawer, I just keep some more jewelry. It's not very super organized, but that's not stuff that I wear on a daily basis. And then I have these two Muji clear drawers that I actually use to keep my makeup in back in the day. On top there I have my two Daniel Wellington watches. Um, I have some more jewelry like watches. This is all like bangles and small bracelets. I used to be obsessed with these so um, everything lives in there. And then over here I just have some decoration. I have my favorite Jo Malone candle which is actually English pear and freesia. I also have a room diffuser from Rituals, a little thing from Chanel. And then I have some matches and a perfume oil from Rituals as well that I actually use um, this little tassel on the door so you can perfume that and it smells amazing. And then over here I have some more jewelry. My jewelry holders, those ones are from Bobble Bar and this one is from Anthropology Bar. Make sure to link everything in the description box as well as on my blog. So I just keep some beautiful earrings over here, some are from Chanel, this is Bobble Bar. Um, I have some hair accessories. Over here I keep some earrings and um, rings. And then over here some more earrings and bracelets. So if we turn over, this is what the room looks like. As I told you, this leads to our bedroom. I have my little stool. Sometimes I use that to store um, like the purse that I'm currently using or something like that. And then I have this unit that I absolutely love. So this unit is also from Ikea. It's still the pack system. It's just a little bit shallow. Um, it's a bit more shallow than the other ones, but I really like it because on top I can store some of my favorite pair of shoes but that I don't wear very often. These are Prada, Christian Louboutin, Sonia Riquel and Tommy Hilfiger. And then in the cubicles I can fit my smaller handbags and my favorite shoes. So I have my Alexander Wang Marion bag, my Chanel wallet on chain. This is one of my favorite pieces in my whole closet. This is actually a vintage Chanel bag that my dad got from my mom way back in the 80s and I got it fixed at Chanel a couple of years ago. Um, I have one of my favorite pair of shoes. These are from Prada. And then I have two shelves on which I keep my bigger bags. So I have my Prada one, Michael Kors Sal Matote. I have two um, Philip Lim, uh, how is this called, Pashley, um, the small and the large one. And then I have my PS11 from Princess Cooler. 
Then I keep my favorite booties. Um, these are from Anthropology and these are actually the same. They are the pistol boots from Acne. I have them in blue suede and in black leather. These are, I think, six or seven years old. This is just crazy, but it's my favorite kind of booties. And then some more shoes and bags. You'll see my favorite bag. That's the Valentino Lock. I have Valentino Rock Studs. I have my Fuller bag. And then some sneakers and ballet flats. So I really like this. I think this is such a clever and beautiful way to um, display your favorite things. And then I have this little dresser just because I couldn't fit any more packs furniture because the wall is not large enough. So I decided why not get a dresser that might be useful. On top of it, I have another jewelry holder also from Bobble Bar. I keep my favorite Chanel brooches on there, earrings, long necklaces, rings, and bracelets. I have this um, jewelry box that is also from Bobble Bar. I have a beautiful vase with thick flowers that my mom got me. And this is just the adorable thing just because I'm expecting a package. Now I'm going to tell you the two last drawers are actually empty, which is just amazing because it means that I have room to grow. I don't have to stress about not having enough space. In the first drawer, I just keep some random accessories. So I have all of my umbrellas. These are all like card loyalty cards that I sometimes want to throw in my purse. Back there, I have like my trench belt. I have a tote. Um, I have a lint roller. I have, you know, just like uh, body tape, uh, some glasses cleaner, some glasses boxes. So that is pretty random, but very useful. So that's gonna be it for my closet tour. I really hope that you enjoyed. I decided to do it vlog style just because I think it's a little bit less formal and a bit more fun. If you have any questions, you can leave that into the comment section. It'll be my pleasure to answer you. If you're new to this channel, if you want to subscribe, you can click on that. You'll be subscribed right away. I upload video one or twice a week, it really depends, but at least once a week. And um, that's pretty much it. If you want to know more about the details of the furniture and some links, everything's gonna be in the description box down below. And if you want to uh, have a look at some more photos or maybe save them onto Pinterest, head over to my blog, that's tideplayground.com. Everything's gonna be on there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.